Ricardo Lamas versus Bill Algio. Wow, that's a possible fight of the year candidate. I don't think it's going to be fight of the year. I think it's just going to be a candidate because that was a brilliant fight. They brought everything. Ricardo Lamas, the old man veteran versus Bill Algio, the young gun prospect. They threw everything in the first and second round. What the, f the, 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 the knee by Algio almost knocked out Lamas. Lamas pressured the calf kicks in the first round. I thought Algio was done, but he stopped the calf kicks. Why? Lamas was doing magnificently with the calf kicks and then he stopped and then Algio started he used his reach he used his reach he started getting the forehead combos one two three and then a head kick at the end was landing for Algio and then the third round Llamas came back with a slick takedown and after that he just ground and pound and was looking for the submissions but he couldn't get it he couldn't get it it should be a draw draw match I think 29, 28? Llamas, right? Yep, Llamas are on. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm okay with that decision. It could have went either way. One and two could have gone to Algeo, but third for sure went to Llamas. Uh, uh, what a fight, yo. Fight of the year candidate. Watch that fight. The only reason why it's just a candidate and it's not fight of the year is because the third round Llamas dominated. It wasn't even. If it was an even fight in the third round, it would have been my fight of the year. But it's just a top five fight for me of 2020. Anyway, yeah. Llamas, um, he's an old veteran. He's still got it. I can't wait to see what he does next. You know, because I, I like the guy. I've seen Llamas way back when, and I'm still a fan of him. Algio has a bright future, for sure. Oh, I stopped that and not that.